Yesterday afternoon, we had a very remarkable event here. Um, I don't know how many of you attended, but we had the groundbreaking ceremony for St. Ignatius School. And there were a bunch of you there, I must say. Um, <clears throat> it just, it was something that felt, it just had a very special feeling to it as far as, as I could tell. Um, and I gotta be honest, I didn't start out with a very positive feeling. I was one of those that was going to, you know, have the opportunity to dig and, you know, turn a shovel full of, of soil. And I just kind of thought, my gosh, here I've been ordained all these years, and they've still got me doing yard work. <laughs> but that, that passed quickly. It just... It was one of those days where, I don't know, I just had a sense that the place was filled with hope. We were moving into a new part of not just the story of St. Ignatius School, but a new chapter for Holy Apostles Parish. And it just felt good to affirm that for the last several months, maybe even for the last couple of years, we have been trying to build and encourage and deepen a vision, a sense of possibility, what the future can be. And that is so important. A man named Donald Rothberg once said, in these difficult times, it is crucial to stay connected with transformative visions. We have to have something that gives us hope. We have to have that star, as it were, for us to hitch our wagon to. Jesus had that. Jesus was driven by a sense of the world, all of creation, all of humanity, can be the way, once again, that God intended it to be. That's what we call the reign of God or the kingdom of God. It was not a place. You know, it's not something far in the future. Jesus wasn't preaching pie in the sky when you die by and by. No. The reality of now. And he invited others to share in that vision, to help bring it about. In today's gospel, he warns people. It won't necessarily be easy. If you think it's going to be all glamorous and everything is going to be just fine, no. It's going to involve sacrifice. It's going to involve making choices, making priorities, understanding what is really important? And Jesus warns us in the gospel, if you can't do that, you don't really get what the kingdom is about. Jesus asks us to jump in with both feet. To buy in. One of my favorite quotes. You can't leap 
a 20-foot chasm with two 10-foot jumps. Sometimes you got to take that leap of faith. I have been with you in this parish now for going on two years and Holy Apostles is an amazing place I think there is in this parish community a sense of of ownership of the place a sense of one another, a sense that we truly are in this together. This is our church. And together we are doing what we can to bring about the growth of the kingdom. It's not a perfect parish. No parish is perfect because all parishes have people in them. All parishes are led by priests. So, Boy, they sure laughed out loud at that at 9 o'clock this morning. I don't know what they were thinking. But as I say, there... There's just a great spirit in this parish. There are differences, but we don't let them separate us. We realize that the things that we hold in common are more important than the things that we hold as different. So important. This school that we are now taking the next step in building because we're going from just our fundraising phase to our construction phase, putting it together for next August. Some places building or having a parish school has kind of separated a parish, pulled it apart. Them's and us's. We are not going to let that happen. Because St. Ignatius School and by the way, I want to reassure you, we are still calling it St. Ignatius. We have not changed the name in case some of you were watching Channel 7 last night and said that, they said that we had the groundbreaking for St. Ignatius. <laughs> which I guess just reinforces the importance of education. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a reality for, for all the parish. And so far, about half the families in the parish have given a response one way or the other to the invitation to pledge or to donate. About 950 of our families, not all of them have pledged. Many have. Some have given a one-time gift. Some have said we don't feel that we can contribute financially at this time. But at least they gave us that response so that we knew that they were aware. We knew that 
they were on board. It can't be a matter of, well, I don't have grade school kids, so it doesn't affect me. It can't be a matter of, well, I'm just going to be sending my kids to public school or homeschooling them or whatever, so I'm not going to pay any attention to it. No. If you are part of us, you are part of, of that, of that vision, of that hope, of that sense of the future. Another quote, a man has made at least a start in discovering the meaning of human life when he plants shade trees under which he knows full well he will never sit. When we invest of our efforts in a future that is more than just ours, we get the sense of Christ's call of the kingdom. A different world cannot be built by indifferent people. And so we are taking this weekend as we move into this next stage, this next phase to ask everybody to say that one way or another you're on board. You're willing to be part of this great vision of this wonderful parish. Uh, financially, our advisors on the project said that hopefully by this time we will have gotten gifts and pledges totaling $5 million. At this point, we are just under 4.2 million of that. So we have, what about another 800 some thousand to go, see, education. We are hoping just for the ease of continuing our process that we can get that increase. If necessary, we are willing to go into debt to the diocese. We would rather not do that. But, you know, we have put our hands to the plow. We are not looking back. We are going forward with this. In front of you, there is this prayer card. And on the front there, we have the campaign prayer. And so let us <clears throat> prayerfully offer that together. Loving God, as we go forth with plans for St. Ignatius Catholic School, we implore you to inflame in the hearts of our parish family a spirit of generous giving. We believe in your faithfulness to guide and bless us as we continue the work of this capital campaign. Hear us as we now pray the prayer of St. Ignatius. Lord, teach us to be generous. Teach us to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, except to know that we are doing your will. Amen. Now don't put them back just yet. This is being called a commitment.
Sunday. We just had prayer because we're remembering one that prayer is so essential to whatever we do. At the groundbreaking yesterday, Bishop Peter began his remarks with the passage from the Psalms. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do the builders labor. We realize that. We accept that. So, we really would like to have a response from every family in the parish. And there are a number of ways to respond. So, please, if you have shut me out, said, oh, this isn't for me, you know, come on, open your mind, open your heart. This isn't necessarily about money. It's about buying in to the vision. So, one card per family. If you would, please, on the back, there where it says name, address, email, and phone number, could you please fill that out? They asked me to say this in the office. Legibly, um, even if you have already pledged, everybody who is member of the parish, if you are a visitor, if you are a guest with us, welcome. We're glad that you are here. But if you are a parishioner, please make a commitment by putting your name, your address, your email, and your phone number. We ask you to make it legible. We won't check for spelling, though. Don't worry. Okay, and once you have done that, then you see next to the big number one, there are five categories. And we're going to ask you to mark one of those five. If in fact, you have already made a pledge to St. Ignatius School, and you're good with that, then please mark that first bubble. But notice that it says we confirm our previously made pledge and will pray for the success of the campaign. Okay, so that's part of your commitment. The second one, if you have made a pledge or a gift already, but you stop and you think about it or you've talked about it and prayed about it, and you've come to the realization, I can do a bit more, then please mark number two. We wish to increase or extend our previously made pledge and we'll pray for the success of the campaign. If you have not yet pledged, but in thinking and praying about it, you realize that you are going to answer the call to be part of this, to share in the journey. Then three or four are the one that you will mark. If you want to make a pledge, then mark number three. We wish to make a first-time pledge, and we will pray for the success of the campaign. If you don't want to make a pledge to be spaced out over many months, but you would like to make a one-time gift, then mark number four. We wish to make a one-time gift, and we'll pray for the success of the campaign. And then the fifth one, if you feel that you are financially unable or unwilling 
to contribute financially to this, you can still pray. We need your support in that way. So, you know, if nothing else, mark number five. We will pray for the success of the campaign. As I said, every one of those five involves a commitment to prayer so that we keep a sense of what it's really all about. Number two there, it says if you are making a first-time pledge or a one-time gift or increasing or extending your previously made pledge, someone from our campaign will be contacting you. So don't just slap your name on here, but please have a sense as you are signing this that yes, this is me as part of Holy Apostles Parish. I am committing to being a part of this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have the ushers come and gather the cards and then at the time of the presentation of the gifts these cards will be brought forward and they will be placed at the altar again symbolic of Lord we offer to you our commitment our promise our desire to build your kingdom okay so ushers and so maybe what you might do is please just fold your card in half and then if you would pass them to the center aisle since some are doing baskets and some aren't. Thank you all for your patience. Um, I tried best I could to not harangue you with this. Um, thank you for your willingness. Um, and thank you for being a part of this great parish that we want to make even greater. Thank you for being willing in your own ways to be kingdom builders, to believe in the hope of Christ's call to us.